welcome to another Wednesday morning wheelchair wake and bake. I'm John Fowler, and this morning I'm going to be smoking on some lemon Kush. Uh, I picked this up from Sweet Relief, as usual, here in Oregon. Um, it's still the lemon Kush because I haven't gotten a chance to get down there and get anything else yet. Uh, I was meant to get there yesterday, day before, but I, I had a couple things. I'll get into a little bit of that, but uh, yeah, let me hit this first, and then we'll get into everything else besides that. Um, hopefully you're getting high and waking and baking or something. Um, but yeah, cheers folks. So, anyway, the, the, the short version is... I was very worried about a couple things the past few days that apparently are not coming to fruition, uh, so I spent my time and efforts very concerned for nothing really. Um, you know, if that changes, I'm sure I'll bitch about it later. In the meantime, what is new that we can talk about in good? Uh, well, we've got like twice the number of subscribers we had last week, and that's, that's really cool. Welcome to all you folks. Um, and we also, we also have a lot more people watching videos than we did uh, who aren't subscribed. And, you know, I totally understand. I put out a lot of stuff that maybe you don't necessarily care about. You know, like the Weed 101 or, um, you know, because that's, that's a serious design for people new to the, 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 the culture, the lifestyle, the art of cannabis. Um, maybe, you know, you've been smoking for 50 years and you know all that stuff and, you know... Maybe you'll fact check me once or twice, but beyond that, you don't really care about that, so you don't watch it. Um, maybe you don't want to watch me get fucked up on Fridays, because, you know, you're my mom, and, you know, hi mom! Um, you know, whatever it is, I understand if you don't subscribe. There are a lot of people out there making content, but I love the folks doing it. Um, and I love a regular segment they do. But the other stuff, I just, I don't watch. So, I, I totally get it. You don't want that, that little notifier coming up every, you know, every other day. Um, you know, it's, it's whatever. I don't do this for subscriptions. I do this, honestly, because it, it's, it keeps me occupied in a point of my life where I would otherwise be doing nothing. Um... You know, most of the jobs I've held in my life, I cannot hold probably ever again, um, just due to safety issues. Um, you know, construction, can't really do that so much anymore. Uh, pyrotechnics, yeah, sorry. It, it's kind of hard to, to, you know, work with explosives when you can't calculate uh, you know, safe zones anymore, it's, you know, things like that, it, it, so a lot of the, the work I've done in my life has been something where there's, you know, m machinery or chemicals or explosives or sharp objects, and between my lack of muscle skill at this point, and, or control, or whatever you want to call it, and the fact that I, I keep mentally just taking a walk every, you know, so often. Um, you know, plus I, I can't do the math that I used to be able to do. Yeah, I, I used to... I used to be able to calculate those safe zones, the minimum safe distances for a pyrotechnic blast, in my head. Um, and, and now it's, I can't do it on pen and paper, uh, with a calculator or whatever. It's, 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 so it's not an option anymore. You know, if, if I can't, if I can't ensure the safety of other people when I'm doing something like that, then I have no business doing something like that, right? Mr. President? Um, anyway, I digress. But yeah, so, basically... The surprise to me comes in the fact that while I thought I would pretty much just be putting this out into the ether, um, you know, something to, to occupy my time day in, day out type of thing, um, you know, people are, are watching the videos and 
really cool. You know, I, I didn't really expect that, and I didn't expect, you know, people to start talking back about him. Um, you know, and it's weird because I'm not in my personal life, in my personal avatar, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't really do forums or comment sections or much in the way of social media. Um, I'm not really a, an outgoing person. I'm, I'm actually fairly introverted. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I, I have a personal Twitter. I think I have six to ten tweets, and I've had it since, like, 2004, 2005. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've deleted my Facebook a couple times, and literally the only thing that's ever brought me back have been organizations or jobs where, in order to communicate with everyone, they utilized Facebook. Um, you know, and, and you know, things like that. I, I don't, I'm not a social person in, in, in my, my off-screen life, and so... You know, to, to interact with the comment section, um, if I seem a little awkward, that's probably why. Um, but it's, it's uh, you know, it, it's, it's a unique experience for me because I don't normally engage in that activity. It's not part of my normal lifestyle. And it's becoming part of my lifestyle as a YouTuber, which is, is weird to me. Um, then again, I guess... You know, being introverted and, and putting videos on the internet is not, not necessarily yeah, conducive to anything. Um, I don't know where it's going with that. But basically, I I don't know. It's This is all kind of new to me. I, I didn't really start this with the intent of doing it for anyone else, so it's, it's kind of weird to see it, um, you know, enjoyed by others. There we go. Uh, the point is, I'm always open to suggestions or inf new information. I accept the possibility that, you know, unless it's something I physically can tell you I've done myself and this is what happened to me, um... I am open to the possibility that I could be wrong, and honestly, with my memory and cognitive issues, I'm even open to the possibility I could be wrong on that. So, really, it's, you know, whatever. If, if you've got information correcting me, let me know. Um, if you have suggestions or information or, or things like that, let me know. You know, uh, I will say that... Um, I'm going to try and do product reviews. I've got the, the UCAN 5 shooter that they sent me in the, uh, the 420 goodie box. Uh, yeah, I, I want to try and uh, get a review of that in soon, which is another reason I need to hit the dispensary. I'm out of, of uh, concentrate. Um, the one thing I, I probably won't be doing too much of is strain reviews, and that's just because it's it's very subjective. And there, there are kind of two parts as far as why I don't feel I'm the right person to do that. One is that, generally speaking, most weed just kind of tastes like weed to me. Um, I can smell differences and all that before it's burned, but once I'm actually inhaling it, it just tastes like smoke. Um, so, unless I get a very specific flavor or note, I won't usually comment on, you know, Whatever, other just yeah, it's a good smooth draw or whatever. Um, the, I mean, and that kind of goes hand in hand with the, the fact that it's subjective. I mean, if flavor were not subjective, I doubt that we would have, you know, strains such as dog shit and cat piss, because, you know, those are generally considered. Anyway. Um, I don't know what they're generally considered. I, I, I just, uh... Ooh, my brain just... Broke. And that's the other thing, is, is... You know, I'm not necessarily neurotypical or, or physically typical, so the effects that these strains will have on me are not anywhere near the effects that they're going to have on most people a lot of times. Um, 
In fact, most of the people I smoke with tend to have completely different reactions to the strains than, than I do. So, you know, it's... I don't necessarily... Like I said, it, it's... I feel like any information I would give about a strain would be mostly useless other than, you know, lab work. Uh, you know, 23% THC, 0.6% CBD, and, you know, however many terpenes the lab actually tests for. Uh, so, yeah. Um, edibles, I can probably... Oh, that's tasty. But, I mean, come on. Again, subjective, but... Actually, that one's probably easier, because let's be real. Um, most people like chocolate, and most edibles are chocolate, it seems, or gummies, so... You know, this is a good gummy, this is a bad gummy, I don't know, whatever, I don't know. Uh, I'm rambling now. I'm gonna hit this and, and get out of here. Alright folks, have a great day, take care.